stopping attacks, but they really are coming to anything. And yeah, it's been a, a hard kind of final kind of 20, 25 kilometres of uh, the stage. It will take a little bit out the riders, and it's actually good to see that uh, the other riders are, are thinking about it. You know, with the UE with the numbers, why just sit back and wait for the sprints? You know, look for an opportunity. Uh, okay, if you're a GC contender, you'll be shut down, but it's nice to see them uh, trying a little bit. Attack on the right hand side of the road as well from one of the bike exchange riders, staying well clear of the main bunch yeah, to do that. Up this thing. Right, this is a dangerous move, and UE team members have spotted that as well. Can get being a danger man, of course. Inside three kilometres to go now. We're on that long straight road, uh, ever so slightly downhill, as I say, now all the way to the finish. And Kirschko. Can get brought back in. Yeah, you can just see that roll through from Poland. He closed the Kanga down and just kept it rolling. Um, and we see an attack in the right hand side as expected um, from uh, Jan Tratnik and um, you know Poland goes as well. And you could see that when he uh, when he brought back Kanga, that really hurt him, and this is hurting him as well. But um, the information from uh, Pogacha goes straight by, keep keep it rolling because what you don't want to do is when they. When you catch a rider and he's not, he's absolutely dying. Poland's cannot close this gap. When you catch a rider and you ease, that's where the counter-attacks come. Big dig by Jan Tratnik, the Slovenian rider. It would mean so much to him, of course, to get a stage win in this year's Tour of Slovenia. Whoa, a little bit of, yeah, easy, slight easing of the pace. Just coming to yep. the front now. Well, it means that Pogaccio is going to be working for uh, for um, his. Sorry, he's going to be working for Trentin, who's in here. But at the same time, as well, they recognise that Jan Tratnik is not the kind of rider you let go away anyway. So late on, he must be getting close to the 2k to go marker now as well. Oh, a little bit of panic now, um, and that's why uh, Pogaccio has come back. And wow, he just shuts them down straight away. And it was a really strong effort from uh, Tratnik. You see, Langen in third place there, he's really kind of rocking his shoulders a little bit, Trentin sitting in second place, this is setting up itself up nicely, it looks like Mahoric in uh, fifth place is uh, looking for this one, uh, trying to get some bonuses, James Shaw is here, slightly downhill setting itself up, Pogaccio at the front and just about to release uh, Trentin in second place there with Alba Sturri up there. Well Trentin had a sweeper at that stage in having Langen right behind him but we're bunching up behind as well, where's Alba Sturri? Look for the green jersey itself there is Abra Sturridge in about fifth wheel right now. We need the front on shot. Trentin opens up the line. Trentin is clear at the moment, but Abra Sturridge is coming. And Mohoric is coming just on the outside of Abra Sturridge. But it looks like John Abra Sturridge has got the stage win that he teased at having. And he's actually <laughs> hadn't even seen them, Brian. He's got three teammates in there celebrating just behind. The Spaniard, John Abra Sturridge of Kaya Rural, perfectly timed his burst to the line. Look at that. And he's happy with it. Rightly so as well done well to get over the top of our final two climbs in the end in good company and won that one. Mahoric was close though in the end as well. I'm looking forward to seeing that in slow-mo because Mahoric had a great final sprint, Brian. But John Aberystwyth let's have a look looking down on top. Very close. Uh, Mahoric showing what a Swiss army knife of a rider he is. Great all-rounder punchy ruler and a very good sprinter come a finish like that and Mahoric cheesed off banging the front wheel down but John Aberystwyth gets the win of stage three in Kirchko